Hello, I'd like to welcome one and welcome all to a video game called Planet Explorers. It's had a Kickstarter. I wanted to make a video before the Kickstarter was over, but it's over now, I think. Which is kind of sad. Either way, I can still make a video about it. I gave my fair share of pennies, so you better respect those pennies. As per usual, I picked the unconventional. Ugh, let me type the name, please. Milady, my lord. Eyes. Wow. This is, um. You know, it's. Ooh, what the hell kind of haircut is that? Well, I have to say, you have a lot of things in place, but they don't do anything for the most part. I kid you not. Uh, let's, um. Yeah, these meters don't do anything. <laughs> Kind of still to have it in, but whatever. Intro scene. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming. As the first humans to ever venture out this far into the frontier, I cannot emphasize how proud I am to have made this journey with you, all of you. I look forward to us building a new home together. Let us make Moria into a shining beacon of the human civilization. He sounds a little disinterested. Many rivers we had to cross, but. We finally found our way. Separation complete. <coughs> we are going for atmospheric entry burn in three, two, yeah, mark! Object approaching. Emergency evasion. Too fast! <laughs> Sensitive point side damage. Get out of here! All quarters! We've got you in the ship. All quarters! Going down. Going down. So this game is really early in development, so it's a little bit buggy. Left and right and left and right. Intro scene is t not that great, especially the voice acting is just atrocious so far. I don't know, I don't think they found the right vibe. There is a chance, by the way, that you'll end up in the middle of the ocean in this little corner. If that happens, don't worry. Equip your emergency pantalons and hope for the best. Gotta press spacebar, click this little You're thing. awake. The way we crashed, I thought we were both goners. Never trust machinery made on Earth. <laughs> then why do we make our own? Anyway. So this is the planet. It looks pretty planety to me. A little barren, if anything. What do you have to say, Gertie McCook? What's up? I checked the locator. We should be somewhere on the southern hemisphere. Oh. Probably the Galilee. Not what we were expecting, huh? Our first day on Maria... I think we hit something really hard coming down. Strange, though, since our radar system should have discovered any space fragment and avoided it. Did you not pay attention at all in colonization prep class on the way over? Maria is the second planet orbiting the Epsilon Indy star system, 11.83 light years away from Earth. It has 80% Earth mass, 26% oxygen atmosphere, and 83% surface water. <coughs> It's very similar to Earth. Well, before that planet became a gloomy, polluted mess. So this is how the game works. It's a little bit... It takes some getting used to. But it's okay. Crucial. So here's a shop. Uh, you don't want to buy things. For the most part, you can actually get a lot of these scripts for free. Scripts are in your inventory. You click them. Oh, sounds a little bit loud, don't you think? I think so. I think it is. This is generic sounds. Yeah, this needs to go down. Click apply before you click OK or it reads it. So, uh, we can make a wooden shovel. We need some wood. And what do you think you get wood from? From these little plants? These plants look like a good source of wood. Oh no, this is giving me a tulip. Then this may be some wood. No, this will not give you a little green iris. Something just fell in the hallway. Great. Must be the internet. So you want to collect this because we're going to make some jumba juice. Jumba juice. But yeah. Um, in our inventory is uh, this. It's a flashlight and a knife. Let's put one in a quick bar and let's equip it. Because, uh... Like it implies you can cut a tree with it. So this is going to take a while actually to cut some trees. It's like this. You go up and you go. Mm. 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 
I think the both genders share the exact same animation, so... You're not missing much. Come on! Come on! You could do it! Just believe in thine self. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there you go. Wood and plant fiber. That's good. That's good. Those giant roots you can cut down for some wood, but I recommend doing them once you have some better equipment. For now, let's make ourselves a shovel. Just click. You can make multiple at once if you wish, but you really only need one shovel. So Now we click two. Okay, what did she say about the quest thing again? Actually, read that. Actually, it's this little corner here. You don't need a shovel. You can just click it if you're good. Need item Jumba Juice. But this is how digging works. You just right click and it, or no, you click. <laughs> Strange because you right click to do most stuff. Look at that ginger digging pose. Mm, so ginger. Not as told by ginger though. Marble. Hmm. What a strange thing to be getting from a crash site. Yeah, there's a variety of re Shovels are good at getting dirt and stone. There are also pickaxes, which are good for getting metals. It's it's a pretty interesting bit of story. It's a bit of a fun time going around. Anyway, now we can access it proper. We can take out this, which I'm going to equip right away, because there's no reason to carry this around on the fly. We can get some uh, dirt. Oh, let's get some wood and get some dirt. We got a, a wooden hilt. Hmm, seems to make a sword. We got some uh, meat. You can just right click. We can get a pickaxe. That See, you could have purchased those, or you could have just come over here and get them for free. Isn't that just lovely? Now that we have that, we can make ourselves something useful. Like, let's replicate ourselves a wooden axe. We don't need a pickaxe. Unless you want to grind, you don't really need a pickaxe right now, so you can just refrain from making that. Let's equip this. It's actually better as a weapon, too, so there's no real purpose in keeping it around. I didn't tell you to start digging. So dig with an axe or something. This is an elder flower. I don't know. I think it's used for other... Flowers are used for healing things like bandages. So I might want to equip, actually. Let's equip the headlamp. The lighting engine in this game is quite gorgeous. I love it. I think it's great. Let's put the bandages in a nice place. But we also need one more thing. As you can see, the last item we need is the uh, peach flower. Excuse me for that minor interruption. One thing about this game, you you can't pause the game. Keep track of that. So we need a peach flower, which is the only thing we need to make some jumba juice. Which you need an axe for. Or you can just use the knife if you want. But hey, we got this uh, recipe for free. Scripts allow you to make more. You can actually purchase the item in itself, as is, from people. You might want to know, what's that? Well, we have three things. We have health, we have stamina, we have oxygen. No idea why the oxygen meter isn't contextual. Why, why do I need to see my oxygen meter? I have no idea, because I'm not depriving myself of it right now. It's kind of weird. Um, what else do I want to talk about on the short term? Um, bigger treats give more wood. Stamina is recovered with food, so you should always have some food with you. So far, that's only uh, mostly just... Oh, look at that, I got some purees, also some food items, also good. Never hurts to pick up a few flowers, either. Or some more of that herbal jumba juice. The herb. Herbology. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that bounce. Look at that spring in her step. Now, one thing about upgraded items is, I think better shovels like you dig over larger areas. Axes get more resources and are faster. Swords are just strong. I don't know. I, I haven't done enough to really know what's going up. What's up and what's up? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. The light doesn't agitate enemies, which are those little bleeps. The bleepity bloop leaves on my bleepity blap. We'll encounter some things soon enough. That thing is a flower, too, in case you haven't noticed. It's kind of strange. There's also these prickly trees that also give you something that isn't wood. Those things. Those those prickly pricks. 
I'll show you what they give you in a moment. Strange thing, they call, uh, they, these items have categories and they're very strange sometimes. Come on. It's not that big of a tree. You want to have some wood. It, like, like in Minecraft, wood is like a resource you always need. Might as well have a lot of it then. Oh, she stopped. Why did you stop? Nobody asks you to stop collecting. She tells you what's new. That's cool, but you yeah. know. Euphoria. Hey, some more puree. Great. So this is my stamina. So it's, it's 50 is typical for these items you find in the wild. Meat is a currency. Or used to make smoked sausage. Uh, herb, you can't consume these, which is kind of strange. Food consumables. Oh, okay, so it's sort of a, a subcategory. Quest item. Uh, herb consumable. Decoration. Synthetic, despite the fact that it's a plant. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want you to harvest that. I don't want you to harvest that. Stop harvesting. Thank you. Now, these little things are not actually wood plants. You get some sort of strange prickly prick from them. Come on. You can do it. By the way, those giant roots, they give like 66 or something. <laughs> I only did it once and it took quite a while. You get these things. I don't know what they're for. Let's make some Jamba Juice. Let's make a few, actually. If I should do it. So it makes them all at once, which is kind of cool. Okay, and now I need some more of those tiny purples. I don't have any. Like I said, it's always good to gather a few of these because herbal juice is a good, cheap, and dependable uh, means of restoring your health. It's about 300 health over 10 seconds. 30 per second, that is. So let's talk to her and give her one of my jumbo juice. Hey. What else yes. do you want me to do? I saw a boat land a bit north of here. She means the spaceship, by the way. We can go up there, but the problem is that you can finish her quests if you do that. So let's, for now, just... Okay, we got some extra. We got some uh, scripts. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's make ourselves some tools. Uh, let's actually go and... You can design your own tools if you wish. I don't want to do that because I'm not good with making tools. Yeah, it's just quick back to the game. It's a little bit of a strange manner of describing it, but it, it works, I guess. Let's make ourselves what we need. We need a wooden sword, a wooden shield, and two arrow turrets. Did it just make the arrow turret or the shield? Can we throw something else? Okay, I'm gonna put that in my quick bar. And there. I think this will do for now. Okay, um. Need two arrow turrets. Okay, now let's let me show you how you build things in this game. You go to the inventory, you click the resource of choice. I think you need to put it in your quick bar for this to work, though. You click it, and then you go into what's called build mode. And this is kind of strange how this works. You click, drag, and you drag a line, which is kind of strange. But if you hold shift, you can go up. If you hold a control, you can go this way. With alt, you delete an object. And basically, we need to draw a 4x4 four four platform in which, on which we can place the turrets. Uh, to deselect, simply get it out of your system and equip something else. <laughs> it's a bit of strange. I don't know how else to do it. It doesn't tell you. So we plop down one here. Don't be in build mode or you might accidentally build something under it. If you try to place it down like this, it won't work if it has a question mark. So now we have two arrow turrets here. Can I help you? I finished what you told me to do. That should do it. Should, no, it should be much safer here. Hmm. And you chow. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly so. Give me more quests. What's I know you have more. Okay, so we're gonna go hunting. Let's go a hunting. Let's actually get that one out of my quest list so I don't get bothered with that every moment of the day. There's a little bleepity bloop on my bleepity blap, but there's nothing bleepity bloopity over here. Which is especially a strange. Let's look for some animals we can hunt. Hair things. Oh god, no. No, those are the bad big monsters. I don't want to fight those. I don't want to fight one of those, but... 
she insists, I guess I'll have to risk a few Jumba Juices. There are three animals that I've seen so far. They're pretty harmless, mostly. Shouldn't be much of a bother for even a novice player, if you know what you're doing. Dying in this game is not that bad of a deal. So that's what she's talking about, the hair thing. They have animal fat. Animal fat is rather much used for how difficult it is to obtain early on. Like, imagine if the only way to make a wooden sword was to make torches was to kill zombies. Like, at the beginning, you'd be like, fucking hell. And let's use our sword a bit. I get a feel. Oh, yeah, that feels good. You get to occasionally fluff, scarf down a jumba juice. Don't forget to loot the corpse. Oh, we got two animal fat. Wow. Got lucky there. And some meat, which is also so good. It's never a bad thing to have some meat. Oh, good health. Yeah, you automatically regenerate health. I don't know what exactly determines whatever you regenerate it or not, but... I'm gonna go gather some extra resources. Real fast. There, I've got a few more Jumba Juices. I gathered a bit of wood, so we should have all the materials necessary to continue. Bit. What so, have you been eating? So I'll show you how to make a torch. I'll actually give you a recipe, I think. Let's see. Learn to make a scrap torch and weapon. Oh, oh dear. Can I help you? Bring some materials to make a campfire. Damn, we need Did more you? animal fat. Oh man, I'm gonna That's gonna take a bit, my lady, my lord. I'll see when I get enough animal fat. That's uh, that's a lot of animal fat. <sighs> so this is another kind of animal you'll find strewn about. These will attack you if you attack them, but they're pretty cool guys if you just stick around a bit and say hi. But don't try to give them a kiss. It's not very nice to do. You want to look for the hares, mostly. Those big white things. And those things are harmless and passive for the most part. So I'm going to give one of them a shot. They'll run away, so you want to be careful. These irises especially seem to be difficult to find, so I'm always picking up a few of them. Like I said, it's not a shame to pick up a few uh, herbs every once in a while. Okay, whatever the hell that was. How did you roll? Now he will actually attack if he's narrowed down in a corner or feels threatened, so you want to be careful. It's a little bit wonky when you fight things, so don't fight too animal fat. Great. Great. I can feed my family a month from that. See you when I get everything I need. A few things I want to tip on. Things that can occur while you're hunting. The hit detection with swords is very iffy in this game. I notice that I'm hitting things, but I'm not hitting them. I get like a hit splash, but not much else. See, I get the hit splash, but not much else happened. Another thing that can happen very easily is that when you're switching yourself between tools, you'll find that your shield is equipped for some reason. I don't know when that happens or why that happens, but it happens sometimes. So do I need to click... Oh, I need to click on the animal for it to work. That's especially strange. A tisk, a tisk. That would explain everything. Let's see, is my theory correct? Yep, my theory is unfortunately correct. So I'm almost there. So this one should give me all the finalities necessary for me to acquire what I need. But smoked sausage, despite costing an animal fat and a meat, restores like 125, which is a very good portion of your health. I think it's one fourth actually. One portion of your stamina is pretty good. God, did he heal? How did he heal? Okay, so he isn't taking damage at all. It seems. This happened. Stop healing. Just start dying. You can dodge by double tapping a direction, it seems. Left and right is the only one that works, so that's how you dodge roll. I don't think it's very useful, though. If you happen to not feel like it, you can fast travel back to your camp by clicking it. The map is accessed via M, in case you're the dumb sort. What's up? WHY DID YOU TAKE MY ANIMAL FAT?! YOU ASS! I NEED THAT! Uh, 
on, this guy? What, what do I need? I need a torch. Well, I can make a torch. I think. Let's see. What's my replication options? I got a couple of irises, so I should be able to make some more of my jumba juice. Mm, look at all those tasty. It is faster speed-wise to make multiple ones. Okay, let's make a torch. That's pretty cheap. Let's make ourselves a smoked sausage. Can I help you? What, what am Don't I missing? Don't get though? hurt. Oh, I need another. Damn, boy! Look at this big guy. Look at him. Hey there, Mr. Big Man. How do you do? I think he's doing fine. Oh man, you hear him all bouncy. I've never seen this guy before. Ugh, I don't think I want to mess with him. So I'm going to wipe my screen because I just spit on it. Or is it spat? I think it's spat. I think I spat on it. Ooh. Ooh, I need that fat. Let me provide you some proper hunting tips when dealing with these silly fellas. One, have your weapon prepared. Two, get up as close as you can and make sure to get ready to chase them. When you chase them, keep swinging and swinging. Make sure that every hit counts. Once you've managed to kill him, take your beast. So, we got everything you wanted. Can I help you? Is that it? Is that every quest you had? Good. Smoked sausage can be purchased for a few meat. I've been able to gather quite a few bits of meat. We got a smoked sausage, which gives us ooh, a lot of stamina. No, 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 no. I don't want to sell it. I don't want to sell it. It's important. Yeah, I think I have all the recipes you were about to give me. So I don't know why they actually sell you, but you can actually see if you have already have a recipe. So don't just purchase them on the go. So I think that's it for now. With all the jumba juice. Um, let's see, am I doing okay? Well, I don't really need anything to eat. It seems I'm perfectly fine. Let's go uh, put down the bed, and next time, we're going to see how we're going to go other places. Yeah, I need a good sleep. Uh, so turn means you can turn it around, 90 degree intervals, get, puts it back in your inventory. Note, some items, when gotten, will actually be other things. If you try to pick up a torch or a campfire, you will get charcoal instead. But you'll need charcoal soon enough, so... Keep collecting that animal fat. So we can sleep. I don't know what comfort level is. I'm sure it's a statistic, though, at eventually. Uh, let's... 12 hours is actually what we need. So let's lie down and... Oh, look at that lighting engine. So gorgeous. Well, it's 2. I thought I was going to bed at another time. About 4 hours should do it. Another four hours should give the sun time to rise and shine. There you go. There you go. Let's get it. Oh, be careful. So, next time we'll have some quests. By the way, you can use the Q and E to turn around, and you can use the middle mouse button for some reason to start walking. I don't know why that's a built-in function, but it's pretty neat. <laughs> it's something you don't see every day. As you can see, this is pretty effective. If you wonder, this is what the flashlight does. It's a little bit less manageable when you're walking around. It's like, okay, I can see things, but... I can, I can hit people with my flashlight. That's... I don't think flashlights are... A good weapon. I know, uh, I'm gonna beat your ass, Gertie. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. We're gonna go... I'm gonna go save. Don't forget. Um, don't forget to buy this game. It's a pretty good game. To what I know, it's, it's still an alpha. We don't know what it's gonna look like in the end. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. Even the flashlight doesn't know. And boy, does that flashlight... There's a flower growing in the ship. Dandelion. Pretty spiffing. Pretty spiffing.